This week, Taylor's Travels meets Hello Magazine. I'm visiting Olympic shooter Peter Wilson at his home in Dorset. The dad moment was one of the most memorable that the Olympics produced, and here is that dad. Definitely a dad moment because dad and mum, I mean, just because mum wasn't there, I think it was dad was a little quicker, mum's knees didn't quite manage to make it down the, those, those uh, flights of stairs. It was, it's very special to share that moment with your parents and uh, it just happened that dad was there first and it was great to be able to give him a hug and of course I wouldn't want to do it again on national TV if I could help it because everyone remembers that moment and I think dad is in fact a great deal more famous than I am uh, because of it but he's, a, he's an integral part of my journey and, uh, and without him I, I wouldn't be where I am today and, and, and so it was great to be able to give him a hug and, and thank him. I didn't do anything, I just helped him fulfil his ambition. It was him who decided that that was what he wanted to do and at the time it seemed like a very far-fetched dream but to his internal credit he made it happen uh, with the help of Ahmed Al Maktoum. I think without him he would never have gotten where he did. Since the Olympics, Peter has been showered with sponsorship opportunities. He has carefully chosen quality British merchandise. Here he is shooting the new Holland & Holland Sporter. It is, a, it is a real thing of beauty. I've never held such a, a beautiful gun in my life, so I, I do feel like I'm, I'm really privileged. I'm holding a piece of history. That's what's really nice about it. I've never, I've never felt so proud to hold a gun before. All the guns I've ever used have been real tools of the trade, you know, they've, they've been a tool, they've never been cleaned, they've never been looked after. I shoot them every single day. And this, this is a little different. This is, this is beautiful. So, um, as I said, I actually feel it's quite nice. It's, it's, it's just sort of makes you smile when you hold it. The gun that you used in the Olympics, you won the gold with, what's happened to that? Is that it's at home. It's, it's actually got to go off for service. Yeah, every year it gets serviced. In fact, it gets serviced twice a year. It gets a, a pretty, pretty big battering. It's fairly heavily used, in fact. I shoot anywhere up to about 60,000 cartridges a year through it. Peter and Holland and Holland are both at the top end of shooting. What does it take to join the bottom end? I don't think there's any, any need to worry about becoming a professional clay pigeon shot. I think all that matters is, is enjoying the sport and what, what, it, what it has to offer. So, you know, be safe uh, and have an amazing, amazing time and just get involved. Get involved and, and have as much fun as you possibly can. Keep smiling because it is the most incredible sport and it can offer so much. So, you know, immerse yourself in it. As I said, of course, be safe and, and, and have fun. Shooting is one part of country life and hunting is another. The Wilsons live in the heart of the South Dorset hunt. Since the weather is closing in, Pete's girlfriend Michelle decides that now's a good time to watch the hunt in action. To, to start with, we cool. can't okay. find them. We'll a, a few calls and a few Bye. wrong directions Bye. later, we reckon we know where they are. At the top of the hill, we're in the perfect place. Like. Horrendous! <laughs> as well as Dad, or Dad as he is now known, and Mum, Pete's other great rock is his girlfriend, the sporting artist Michelle McCulloch. Yeah, no, I've been shooting and I've had a go, but I haven't succeeded in actually doing very well at the moment. But I, I, I enjoy doing the clay pigeon shooting. I, I've quite enjoyed that, and I've been coached by the best. <laughs> but only I've only been out a few times, and, and I, I do enjoy. I love beating. So I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy doing that. Like getting involved in it. Yeah, yeah, I love getting involved and being outside and going through countryside that I wouldn't necessarily go through. Pete is not just the golden boy of shooting. <laughs> He's an ambassador for all country sports. Winning the Olympics in London was just amazing, you know. But um, being able to shoot a pigeon and, and, or even a brace and just come home and, and uh, dress them and cook them is it's just as exciting, but in a very different way. So I'm very fortunate that at the age of 26, I, I, I have won the Olympic Games in London. And, uh, and I'm also fortunate enough to be able to come back here to Dorset uh, and uh, be given the option to go out and shoot the odd pigeon or two and, and uh, cook it in an evening. So um, I, I know that sounds so simple, so basic, so, so sort of um, prehistoric, but it is, it's just wonderful. It's a, it's a wonderful thing and I'm very, very lucky. I don't ever want to take it for granted. On behalf of the Countryside Alliance, we ask him to make this appeal. My name is Peter Wilson and I'm really looking forward to the National Shooting Week between the 25th of May and 2nd of June.
Thank you, Pete. For more information, visit countrysidealliance.org.